and we are back with some interesting concepts. So today we will be discussing certain rules of rectification of errors. Now many students has a fear doing rectification of errors. But my dear friends, I would like to tell you one more important thing that in modern computerized accounting, right? When you are talking about accounting with the help of computer softwares, so in that case rectification is of very least important. But there are many business houses who are still maintaining accounts under manual. They maintain accounts manually. So for them rectification of errors is very important. Now how to rectify errors? So there are certain rules which I will be discussing with you. The number one rule, first of all you need to see where the errors are located. Whether the errors are located in a day book or whether the errors are located in an account. Thus rule two is how to rectify that error. So first of all you are going to see the location of errors and number two will be how to rectify the errors. So, सबसे पहले हम लोग बात करते हैं location of errors. Now, where the errors can be located? Number one, you can have errors at the time of doing day book. So, if you are having errors at the time of doing day book, it means both debit and credit accounts are incorrect. Say, for example, goods purchased from Mr. X rupees two thousand is wrongly recorded in day book as two hundred. So, I have purchased goods from Mr. X rupees 2000, but in day book I have wrongly recorded it as 200. So, that the moment I record in day book 200, it means supplier account that is Mr. X is going to be credited with 200. And since I have written 200 in day book, it means month end, it means month end the periodic total will contain 200. So, as a result of that, purchase account will be debited with 200. So I mean to say, if you record a transaction wrongly in day book, that is journal, it means both the debit and the credit aspects are incorrect. So I told you rule number one is find out where the errors are located. If you can find out where the errors are located, you can identify how many mistakes you have done. So the mistakes are in both debit as well as credit. So in order to rectify it, simple, increase the purchase, increase the supplier. So the rectification will be purchase account debit to Mr. X 1800, 1800 because with 200 we have already debited and credited these two accounts. So we need to more debit purchase with 1800, we need to more credits Mr. X with 1800. So if the mistake is in day book it means both debit and credit are incorrect. So we are going to rectify both the accounts. Number two, if the mistake is in casting error. Right? There are so many casting errors means totaling error. Month end we total the purchase day book and with that total purchase account is debited. So if the mistake is in casting I mean totaling errors in that case suppliers accounts are okay. Say for example I have written in purchase day book 2000. So accordingly supplier account has been credited with 2000. But while totaling the purchase day book at the month end, I took that 2000 as 200. So in my total, 2000 is there or 200 is there? It's 200 is included. So when I am debiting purchase accounts, I am debiting purchase account with 200. However, my supplier account is already credited with 2000 because I was written in purchase day book 2000. So when the mistake is in total of a day book or casting error, it means that day book ka main account is affected. Jaise purchase day book ka main account is the month end ka total is posted to the debit of purchase account. Sales day book the main account is sales account. Purchase return day book the main account is purchase return account. Sale return day book the main account is sale return account. Bills receivable day book the main account is bills receivable account. Like this we have. So purchase day book cut casting error it means the total of purchase day book is incorrect and that total is posted to purchase account. So only one account is affected that to day books main account. Is that fine? So if I tell you purchase day book total has been casted short by 1800. In our example it has been casted short by 1800. It means purchase account is incorrect. Purchase account has been debited with 1800 less. So what will be my rectification? I will debit purchase account with rupees 1800. 
as simple as that so if the mistake is in day book it means both accounts are incorrect if the mistake is in total of a day book it means only main account is incorrect next so we are finding out the location of error and accordingly we are rectifying it third the first one was mistake in day book to both account incorrect second was totaling error to only main account is incorrect third if the mistake is in account if they say specifically that discount allowed has not been debited that doesn't means that debtors has not been credited when they say a particular account is incorrect it means that particular account only is that fine so if i say that purchase goods from mr x rupees 2000 entered in day book but not credited x account so when i have entered in day book means the total met for that 2000 will come so accordingly purchase will be debited at month end what has not been done i have not i have not credited supplier account so if they say that supplier account is not credited so you are only going to see that particular account only so what we will rectify we will simply go and credit supplier account that is mr x with rupees 2000 so locate the errors and rectify that so it's very simple my dear friends number 1 if the mistake is in journal means day book both debit and credit are incorrect if the mistake is in total of a day book totaling error casting error so that day books main account is incorrect if the mistake is in account that particular account only the other account is okay so this is it for today's session right we have told you how to locate errors and accordingly rectify it namaste